thank you for joining me for my November month end update. Now as usual there's lots to get through so let's get started. During November the channel welcomed 385 new subscribers taking the total up to 13,598. A very warm welcome to all of the new subscribers. Now I had mentioned in an earlier vlog that it would be really nice to reach 20,000 subscribers this year. Now I don't think that's going to happen now, but it would be really nice to get up to 14,000 by the end of December. So if you haven't already subscribed and you're a regular visitor to my channel, please do subscribe and help me reach that new target. During the month I added six new videos to the channel. I showed you how to make a wall shelf with baskets. There was episode 15 of My Doll's House Diary. I also showed you how to make a kitchen island, an embroidered doormat. I also made a start on the accessories for My Doll's House Kitchen. And I added another video to the miniature food series where I made some apples using polymer clay. I really hope you enjoyed all of those videos. At the end of October I did promise you another episode of Out and About with Julie and I was going to go along and film at the Kensington Dolls House Festival. Now following the terror attack on London Bridge on Friday afternoon I didn't feel comfortable about travelling into the centre of London the next day so I didn't attend the festival but I have spoken to Charlotte the organiser and hopefully I'll be filming there in May. So coming up in December will be the next episode of My Doll's House Diary, episode 16, which I'm working on at the moment, and I'll be preparing the walls with primer for redecorating. And I'll be continuing with the My Doll's House Diary series throughout December. I want to make a start on the study, so hopefully we'll get the room decorated, and maybe start on the furniture tutorials as well. vlog all five of my books are now available to order from my Etsy shop. I then place an order with the publisher once a week and the books take about seven to ten days to get to me. If you wanted to order one of the books as a Christmas gift you'd be better now we're in December ordering them direct from Amazon as they'll get to you a lot quicker. new crockery items to my Etsy shop and a few new hardware items as well. I also listed for sale this pretty crochet blanket So the situation with my workshop revamp hasn't changed. I'm still sort of tidying up and sorting things out in there before I start the redecorating. But I will do that as a new YouTube series starting in January called Workshop Revamp, which I hope you'll enjoy. I announced last month that I would be setting up a Patreon page and I'm delighted to say that 16 people signed up to support me. So a huge thank you to each of you. Your support is really appreciated and I've got some wonderful tutorials planned for you. And from now on, I'll be uploading at least two tutorials a month to my Patreon channel. The first tutorial I uploaded was this dresser, a rather detailed project, and the tutorial was actually over two hours long. And I'm currently working on an upholstered wooden sofa and chairs which I'll be uploading in a few days' time. I also want to say a huge thank you to those of you who got in touch with me to say that you supported my decision to set up a Patreon page. Having seen some comments here on YouTube, um, not so much negative comments, but comments from people who were quite surprised that I'd made that decision. But I'm sure most of you understand that I need to make a living like everybody else and sharing videos for free here on YouTube isn't going to do that for me. Um, so it's just another form of income to my business and everything will carry on here the same on YouTube. Now if you would like to support me over on Patreon, membership is $5 a month and that's about £3.80 at the moment. And for that you'll get two to three detailed tutorials every month. 
So I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about COPPA or COPA, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. And it's a law that stops YouTube from collecting data on children under the age of 13 and using that data to then target them with advertisements. So what that means is that all creators now have to set their channel or their individual videos to say whether or not they're aimed at children. That seems perfectly straightforward, that's fairly simple. The problem arises when YouTube then wade in and say that actually we think this video is for children. They can then change the settings on your channel to say that the channel is aimed at children. They can remove your video shut down your channel or you can be fined up to $42,000. And if you were to set your channel as aimed at children, you then wouldn't have any personalised ads on the channel, people can't like or dislike the video and you can't receive comments on the video either, so we wouldn't be able to interact. Now I've already changed the settings on my channel to say that none of my content is aimed at children which it isn't. Every one of my tutorials would involve sharp tools. My Doll's House Diary episodes sometimes involve power tools. And you may have noticed that I put at the beginning of my last video, the Polymer Clay video, um, a little disclaimer at the beginning just to say this video isn't suitable for children due to the sharp tools involved. And thank you to Pat as well for that suggestion. And I'll be putting that disclaimer now at the front of all of my tutorial and Doll's House Diary videos. From my point of view I think I'm probably safe as I do only do Doll's House furniture and my vlogs which certainly wouldn't attract children and actually looking at my demographic 90% of my audience are 45 plus and I think only a tiny percent of anybody between the ages of 18 and 24 has ever watched my videos and certainly nobody under the age of 13. So that proves that my videos aren't attractive to children, they don't attract children um, to my channel. Now having said all that, unfortunately it's not the person who's actually sitting there going through videos and making the judgement, it's all done automatically. So if my tags picked up, say in Dollhouse or Doll's House, Doll's House Furniture, etc, then potentially my videos could be removed. What I'm actually going to do is start adding the videos onto my Patreon channel and not as a membership paid video but just as a sort of free for all video. So if you wanted to go and follow me on Patreon, that, that doesn't involve any charges at all, you can still follow my page, you will be able to see those videos. Now you won't be able to see the videos that I do specifically for my subscribers the people that are actually paying to see the content, but you will be able to see anything that I upload as free for everybody. And I think that may be a way forward. So though I'm hoping that I'll be safe from this ruling, um, if anything was to happen, you know, the worst sort of outcome where they would actually close down my channel, then you would be able to find all of my videos over on Patreon through following me over there. Now that really would be the worst case scenario. I've already had it actually when I try to upload one video where they did put a warning on there saying that the video was for children and I then had to ask for it to be manually reviewed and it was and that, and that went through. So that, that is probably a good sign that somebody at some point has actually looked at one of my videos with a view to it being for children and then agreed with me that it wasn't. So hopefully that will be the case for my entire channel. So we'll wait until January and see what happens then. Before I go, I just wanted to show you a little bit of footage of a muntjac deer that's been visiting the garden. And it's just so lovely to watch, I just thought I'd share it with you, and I hope you enjoy it.
think that's it for now. I'll have another vlog episode for you at the end of December where we'll do a roundup of the year and I'll tell you what I've got coming up in 2020. And for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.